Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video, I invite you to talk about tremolando scales. What are tremolando scales? Why would you practice them? What can you expect to get out of them? How can you make them the most beneficial and the most useful for you? We'll talk about all these things in this video. If you enjoy it, please subscribe to this channel and also click the little bell to get the notifications. Okay, what is tremolando scale? Tremolando scales are when we play more than one note in the right hand for every one note in the left hand. I'm just gonna play a simple scale here, but I'm playing multiple notes for each note. So instead of, instead of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, we play do, 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 re, 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 re. Instead, we can do multiple notes per note. And how many notes? As many as you want. It can be two, three, four, five, ten, whatever it is that you like. The point of this, why would we possibly do this? This slows down the left hand. It slows down the rate at which the left hand fingers change notes. This enables us to focus more attention on the right hand. And when we focus on the right hand, we can practice the right hand. We can really do things that improve our right hand work. And what are these things? One of the things that we can look at while we're playing these tremolando scales, we can listen for and focus on, is the evenness of the volume. So when we're playing, you can listen to the evenness of the volume. Are any notes poking out? Is one finger, so we normally use I and M, index and middle, back and forth. Is, is the I louder than the M? Is the M louder than the I? Get those really even. Especially on the string crossings, is it different there? So, all, can we even out that volume really nicely? The next thing that we can listen for is the tone quality. Is the tone quality similar? Or does it, does it sound like one note or one finger playing? And you can actually test this. Just play with one finger and then play with both I and M and listen to the differences. Also, start with a different finger. Start with M. This matters less if you're playing with three notes each because that constantly switches between I and M as you change the, the, the left hand because it's an odd number. And so it's I M I, then M I M, then I M I. So you can play with this, really listening. That's gonna be your, your main skill for doing tremolando scales is listening, listening, listening. There is nothing more you should be doing than really listening like crazy for the evenness of the tone, evenness of the volume. So why would you practice this? Well, as you might suspect, you can get a lot out of it. You can really increase your control, precision, and accuracy with your right hand. You can also work on the synchronization of the two hands because if we're playing all of the notes, it's easy to go faster. And then a lot of little messinesses they just kind of fall by the wayside. You don't notice them. They fly under the radar. Wow, that sounded great. I'm so good, I'm so fast. Instead, if you slow down, you might realize, actually, that was really messy, but I didn't realize it because it was so fast. It gave the illusion of perfection. So that's one of the things that we can do. It just really opens up the clarity of, of each note. So another thing that you can do is well, before I even sell you this one, you can be as creative as you want. You can constantly change and make up new exercises to do using tremolando scales, one of which are accents, is accents. So when we play accents, we're making one note louder than the rest, and that means we bring the other ones very quiet. Especially the note right after the accent. It doesn't have to be the first note of each. It takes a little bit more brain to do that one. To do the second note of three, or the third note, or the fourth note. So you can accent, accents are lovely, you can accent any one of the notes that you would like to. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever you choose. And that is a study. So tremolando scales, 
wonderful for the right hand. That's what they're for, is the right hand syncing up with the left hand, really getting consistent with the I and M alternation, the sound, the quality, the, the speed. You can work on your speed with it while keeping the fussiness of the left hand down. All of these things and anything else that you can think of, any combination of these that you can put together is great practice. So go play some tremolando scales, push pause on this or stop, go pick up your guitar and play a couple of minutes of some tremolando scales, see what you think, uh, jot a note to yourself to do it later, but do something with this, don't just watch it and move on. And subscribe to this channel and I'll see you soon. Good luck. Bye-bye.